In today's video, I'm going to move from the Pelican Storm 2975 to the Tenba Air Attaché 3220W. Welcome back everyone. So Tenba just sent me this Air Attaché 3220W and when they offered me a bag, I was really excited to try this one out because I've been using this Pelican Storm 2975 for about the last 10 years to carry all of my lighting gear and my accessories and it's actually just become too heavy for me. I'm sure it was too heavy all along, but I kind of felt like I could tough it out and uh, get through it. Um, but, you know, on my last flight, knowing what the tag says down here, um, this case weighed 86 pounds and it's just a little bit of a little too difficult for me often to pick it um, off the ground and put it in the car and vice versa and certainly if I had to carry it up and down stairs that would just be very ugly and so I want to reduce the weight thankfully when I fly on Southwest as a photographer I'm able to fly with a very generous baggage allowance so the weight is not uh, so much of an issue uh, for the airline. Now, there are some concerns. I'm not certain that the new Tenba case is the same size of interior volume as um, the Pelican case. And the reason why is because Pelican doesn't list the dimensions for their cases with the padded dividers. Similarly, and I can never say that word on camera, uh, they also uh, don't list the weight with dividers. So from what I can tell, and I'll apologize in advance for those of you not in the United States, um, this case is roughly, uh, these cases are roughly the same volume. This case weighs about 30 pounds. Um, and the reason why I was apologizing is there's gonna be a lot of weights today and I don't think I can adequately convert to kilograms in my head. So I'll put that on the screen. I just don't wanna confuse myself or get anything wrong. So empty. Uh, with the dividers, I think this case weighs about 30 pounds. That's what it weighs with foam. So if we assume that the foam and uh, the dividers weigh about the same, then that should be about right. Now this case weighs about uh, 22 or 23 pounds. I don't remember exactly. Um, so that's about seven pounds uh, less uh, for this case right off the bat. So that's gonna get me under 80 pounds. Now, I'm not entirely sure that I need all of the heads that I have in this case. I have three ELC 500s in here and I have two ELB 500s with four heads. And I found a lot of the times when going on location and teaching my workshops that I am using the ELB 500 heads more often than not. And I don't really need to have the ability to use seven heads. Six will do just fine. Yesterday when I was on location, doing a large commercial shoot. I did it all uh, with five heads. So I don't think losing a head will be a big deal. So let me go ahead and open this one up. We'll have uh, the unboxing here uh, live on camera as soon as I find a key that I don't care much about. So let me go ahead and cut into this. Oh, and also, if you enjoy learning from me in these videos, you probably would like learning from me on my online members only learning platform, The Academy with John Gray. And that's where you'll find exclusive longer form tutorials than you will on YouTube. You'll get early access to my YouTube videos. You can get discounts on in-person workshops and you can also participate in a live Q&A and critique session that happens twice a month. So for more information, just go to johngress.com slash workshops. So let's pull this thing out. Thank you for indulging me for that short commercial. Boy. Okay. Not what I was, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think through that that's how that was gonna go. Oh, I thought that was a rubber band, it was a cable tie. Okay, let's compare these two cases side by side. Okay, 
as you can see, they are roughly the same size. So um, hopefully we'll have roughly the same volume. I think this will work out great. Okay. Hmm. I like how this has storage in the lid um, and these straps that hold it into position. It has a lot of inserts. So I'm going to take this out right now, this divider top shelf, if you will, that I've got in the Pelican Storm. I'll just sit it over here and we'll add things back in as we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to need all of this stuff that's in here. First thing I'm going to look at is just sort of lining up will stuff fit. So um, here are the ELC, here is an ELC 500. Um, okay, I'm just going to rough out an idea here as to how to organize this case. Okay, so two of them will fit right there. Now the ELB 500s. Ah, okay, wait, I think I may be able to get all the heads in here. Not that that's gonna really reduce our weight. Let's see, okay. If I put the two ELBs like that in that little section and I make that make a little bend, then I've got this, which is the Nice Photo SN29 Optical Snoot. Um, I'll put a link below or on screen for you to look at that. Um, perhaps that can sit over there and we won't worry about these handkerchiefs right now. Um, the two, my ELB 500 heads um, can fit probably yep, just like that on either side there. And then I could probably pull up my next one of these. Ah, okay, now the big question is, can in the remaining space I get the stuff that I need from the old top shelf, if you will? Um, doesn't seem too likely, but we're gonna give it a, a shot nevertheless. So let me just sort of roughly move this stuff back. These ELB 500s are great modifiers. Um, they are battery powered, um, 500 watt seconds in the pack going to two heads that are roughly the size of a baseball, which I really like. Um, uh, and they can do TTL and high-speed sync. So for booming, it's, you know, no real need for a sandbag on these, so it's great. Okay, I'm just gonna rip these out. If I'm sweating, I apologize. I had to turn the air off in the studio and I think it's getting above 75 degrees. All right, we'll grab the next head. We've got them going in opposite directions so that it can accommodate these generic um, reflector grid holders that I have on there. Um, there's our power cable for each. So the ELC 500s are Ellen Chrome's second from the top uh, model of monolights. There's an ELC 500 Pro HD and I have those heads as well. Um, because the ELC 500s have a LED monolight and they can do TTL and high-speed sync, I tend to use them a lot more. The ELC Pro HDs um, recycle twice as fast. Sometimes with the, sometimes with the ELC 500s, I'm a little frustrated at the speed, uh, but the Pro HDs don't have TTL or high-speed sync, and so I'm willing to sort of put up with the occasional slowness um, for that capability. So. Um, going back to the ELB 500, um, these four heads, they're fitting in here perfectly. I think I'm actually not symmetrical. I might move it over a little, but those are looking good. Now, my next idea was to sort of push these over a little bit. Okay, that fit fine, and that fit fine. So. My only question is this hardware might get in the way for us. I'm not sure, but we'll see. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so let me take these dividers out. Okay, one thing I'm wondering, can I sort of get all of these to come over a little? Maybe. 
I wonder if I get this going on a diagonal, um, sort of like this, if that'll... Okay, that fit in, lovely. Um, put the ELB 500 head back in. Great, you can always fine tune these things later. Um, here comes ELB 500 head number two. Hmm, what if I took this divider out? The ELB 500 comes with these bags that you see it in. And I like them because it allows you to hang them off of a light stand and use them sort of as sandbags. Okay, that went right in. I think we're sitting pretty there. Now, next question, can we get this in? The answer, of course, is yes. We can even get it in going that way. Mm, but then we'd have to use one of these going that way and that probably wouldn't be so good. Okay, I just got a new idea. Let's move this with the reflector to there. Okay. So th these are my very simple transmitters that I have um, for the Allen Chrome system that I use when I teach. So um, they stay in this case. I think they can go right there. That looks good. Um, let me get my power cable for that head in there. That's great. Okay, now I've got the optical snoot. Let's put him right there. Let me get one of these fancy blue dividers. Oh, I can go up and down with this. You know, and I never tried going up and down with the strobes. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Okay, now it won't work. It's worth a shot. Okay, so the reason I was doing that little wiggle thing earlier is I was trying to get us more room and I think I forgot to <laughs> come back to that. Um, there, so I push that. I feel like that's probably gonna be less tension on this, this line right here. Okay, that feels better. Um, I don't know if it was the best move, but it was a move. Okay, so let's get this divider back in. So I've got this area here. That feels a little better. I can go adjust it later. Okay, so things I have in this case that I need that are over here. This is a styling kit. I don't use these handkerchiefs very often anymore. Maybe I don't need them. These gels, they're definitely a must have. Let me put them on the other side. Okay. Um, this is the lens for this. These are the chargers for these. I think what I'm coming to right now is a realization that I am going to have to get rid of one of these heads because I've got a lot of things like these adapter rings for the ELB heads. They need a place to live. They're going to take up these five, these three <laughs> that I have, plus the two chargers. They're going to take up all of that space. So, okay, well, this head is going to come out. So that's fine, <laughs> sort of. Okay, so if that head comes out, let's sort of reevaluate for a second. So, this is a set of grids that I have. They are like 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, they work with these grid holders that I have uh, back over, well, here and here. They can live somewhere like that. All right, now, what can live next to those? How about this power cable? It's just a regular power cable with a freeway splitter. Okay, I always have two grip heads with me. The reason is I use these for flags. So um, let's keep those in here. 
And they also have two studs. Um, well, I guess three studs at the moment. I guess I only need two. And those are just because I might need them from time to time. I see I've messed up. We forgot about this. Sorry, this video is a bit of a mess. I've got two ELB 500s, these packs with the batteries attached. Um, there's a nice bit of room right here. I might put something there. I've got two ELB 500 heads right here. I've got two more right here. The charger for the ELB 500s, which the ELB 500 can also run off of AC power with that charger. All of my makeup that comes in five different shades for all skin tones and a clear one. My nice photo SN29 optical snoot is sitting right there. I've got an ELC 500 um, mono light right there. Another ELC 500 mono light right here. Then I've got a set of grids from 10, a 10, a 20, a 30, and a 40. A extension cord to use um, as needed, which uh, is always great with three outlets on it. Um, an A clamp, perfect for holding a background in place. Then the lens, a knockoff Canon Nifty 50 for the nice photo. Then I've got two grip heads with studs sitting here, some clips to style clothing. Okay, then I've got over here three of the adapters to go from the ELB 500 um, to, uh, to, to a regular Okta. The deflector disc that allows me to turn the 70 centimeter deep Okta into a beauty dish by sliding that inside and taking the diffusion out. And then two of these clips that allow me to hold foam core uh, in, you know, wherever I need it to bounce or flag. And I use this by attaching it uh, to the grip heads. So then I've got my gels over here. I've got all of my gobos for the nice photo, a basic sync cord to use in case all of my transmitters fail. Gotta have redundancy like an airplane. I think we are good to go. So the great thing about this Tenba case is because I took that um, ELC 500 out of here and it's also seven pounds lighter right off the bat, I'm looking at a savings of about 13 pounds. So instead of being 86 pounds, maybe I'll be 73. Um, my scale goes up to 70. Um, I might try to weigh it, uh, but I think we might just say that um, yeah, we're probably good. We're probably good enough. I think there's enough stuff in here and things are looking pretty good. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.